Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Let's Get Social training. Just give me one minute here. I'm going to pull this up on my phone so that I can see all your comments coming in. If you are watching this on the replay, make sure you do hashtag replay. Let us know that you are out there watching. Um, we will be responding our, to our the best of our abilities <laughs> to answer any questions you have. There's going to be a lot of content in here, but hopefully we've simplified it for you enough that you guys, as soon as we're done with this training, you're going to be like an expert in the social world. <laughs> okay, so let me uh, turn this down a little bit, see who's here. Hi, Lacey. Thanks for tuning in. Um, any leaders out there, please tag your um, team members so that um, they can, you know, know this is actually uh, happening right now. You can share it to your groups. Um, let's see who else is here. Natasha. Hey, Rebecca. <laughs> Hey, Janice, thanks for tuning in. Okay, we are going to get started because there is a lot to cover and we're super excited about it. And this is something that you guys have asked for. We did that poll, Natasha did the poll earlier this year. You guys want to know all about TikTok and Instagram and stories. And we're going to talk about Canva. So buckle your seatbelts because we're going to get started. All right. So. Let me uh, share my screen with you guys and we will get started. All right, maybe we'll see each other on here. All right, here we go. Let's get social. All right. Who's excited out there? Anybody excited? <laughs> we can't wait to see what everybody's gonna do after this training, so. All right, so this is Let's Get Social Tips and Tricks for we're going to cover Reels, TikToks, Stories, and Canva, and also give you kind of a little bit of some suggestions on, you know, what you should be posting. So, all right, Natasha's excited. It's awesome. All right, so table of contents, basically just what I said. Why does social media work? We're going to go through that and let you guys know, you know, why does this work? Why is this such a hot topic right now, right? Reels, are, we're gonna go through and give you kind of our tips, our um, you know, how to's so that you know by the time you're done with this, you are gonna be able to do a reel. Tick, same with TikToks, stories both on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and talk about Canva and how you can use that for your business and kind of jazz some things up. And then we just kind of our tips and tricks summary. So let's get started. All right. Rebecca, are you going to lead us through this? <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> so right. why does social media work? A lot of people are wondering what is social media or how do you, how do you get started with social media um, and social selling and everything? And this is what we're going to help you do. And what it does is it increases your brand awareness. It sales lead generation, increase your community engagement. It's going to help you grow your brand's audience, increase your web traffic, and it's fun and engaging, and it's going to bring the products to life and it makes it relatable and human. This is very important into bringing anybody into your little bubble of, of your Avon business and, any, and just getting to know you. So this is gonna be very fun um, training for you guys. So go to the next slide. Okay, so what type of con content should I be posting? Now, you know, several times on the 80 20 rule which is basically 80 percent of your content needs to be engaging fun nothing to business really per se and that 20 percent is going to be what reels them in which will be like your sales sharing products um your favorite items and everything like that so i'm going to go over a little bit of um kind of what you could an idea of what you can use so the 80 20 percent is the educational informational personal interest and inspiration. That's going to be the whole 80%, which we all love motivational quotes. We all love fun, doing fun things like that. So this is going to get, <laughs> this is going to help bring in, um, get, engage people and get everybody interested in, in um, everything that you have going on. The 20% is going to be your promotional and to drive sales and to bring people into your business. We're going to catch them kind of like you're going to, you know, you're fishing, you know, a lot of hang out there and you're going to reel them and then you're going to reel them in and get them into either joining your team or buying some products. So we have quotes, tips, behind the scene photos, your product photos and links, questions, polls, 
Questions and polls are really good for your business. So you can see what kind of things your customers want. Um, good content from others, your blog post link, sneak peek photos, popular content, recommendations, offers and discounts, which everybody loves, events information, testimonial success stories, funny snippets from your life and videos, and fill in the blanks and interesting facts. Now, all this tied in is going to bring people and wanting to build a relationship with you, and you're going to get social with them. So this is what we're going to do, and this is what we're going to help you give you some awareness and some guides and some tips on what you could do to build your business. That's awesome. Thank you, Rebecca, for taking us through that. And it's true. Like the one thing that I kind of really like had this big realization, you know, one of those aha moments when I was, you know, when we were putting this together is it's important for all of us to be doing this. The reason why is it doesn't have to be, you know, some elaborate thing like we're going to talk about something quick and easy. But the reason why all of us should be out there sharing on all of these um, platforms is because the more that we get the word out about Avon, the more people are going to see it. Okay. And that's really what's going to drive the traffic to Avon. It's going to drive these new customers to the website. And they're, then they're going to be out there, you know, looking up who is close in my area, who I need to see what Avon has to, has to offer right now, because I'm seeing all of these, you know, videos and, you know, um, all of these photos and all of this excitement from everyone. So think about that, you know, the more if you want to grow your business, it's about really getting the word out and trying new things and, you know, kind of getting a little bit uncomfortable, right? So, okay, talking about uncomfortable, <laughs> we're going to jump into Instagram Reels, all right? Um, you've probably seen us out there. I just posted one today. Natasha's been out there posting them, Rebecca, you know, a lot of people, Linda's been posting things. So you just got to get uncomfortable a little bit, okay? Last year when we were kind of, you know, brought into the content content creator group, we were like, uh-oh, <laughs> you know, um, we got to do this now. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, we've learned so much. We didn't have any idea. We didn't have anybody out there telling us exactly what to do. We just kind of had to get in there and do it, okay? so. Um, you know, for people who don't know really what Instagram is, Instagram is really the place to be right now. I'm going to be honest with you. This is the place where you're going to build some brand awareness and get some new followers. Um, you know, it's very popular photo sharing and you connect with a ton of different, like I said, brands, follow brands that are similar to Avon You can get some information and, and learn a little bit. Celebrities, what are they using? What are they doing? Um, thought leaders, family, your friends, obviously, should be following Avon Insider, <laughs> okay, you have, if you're not out there. And if you don't have an Instagram account, you need to create one, okay? So pull out your phone. If you don't have Instagram on your phone, you need to get it. And you need to get signed up and then create an account, okay? So, you know, then we jump into, you know, Instagram kind of got into this, the reels, all right. It was fairly, you know, around the time frame where TikTok was kind of like coming in to, on the scene. Um, you know, everybody's got to up their game. So what is a reel? Reel really is a short, entertaining video. OK, you're going to express your creativity. Um, you're going to express who you are. This is what is important about building. We talk about building your brand. Who are you? Who do you want your customers to see? Who do you want to attract? You know, and it's important to be you. If you like, you know, we've talked about this in all of our past trainings about building your brand. You know, who are you? What are your top three to five things that you love about life? Is it, you know, what's important to you? Family? Is it health? Is it exercise? Is it traveling? Is it, um, you know, uh, farming? Is it, <laughs> you know, being with your granddaughter? Whatever it is, whatever those things are, you really need to figure out who you are, write those things down, and that's what you express to people, okay? And you can express them like uh, Rebecca was talking about the 80-20 rule, is 80% should be that stuff, who you are, who are you, make yourself relatable, okay? And then that other 20% is throw in a product, you know, while you're doing something silly, if you're silly, or if you want to be serious and be serious, you know, whatever it is, whatever you want to, you know, portray to people, that's what you should be doing, all right? So, 
why we use Rails, um, it really offers, you know, a different opportunity to build your business. Okay, you want to grow your audience, get out on Instagram, you can start small, start small by posting, you know, photos, um, if you're not out there already. Okay, start there by doing stories, which we'll talk about. Start there by using Canva and posting things, which Linda will talk about. Okay, this is a way for users to discover a new brand and to maybe revitalize a brand, right, with Avon. How many people do you still meet that say, I didn't know that Avon was still around? Well, let's make sure we tell them that Avon is still around, okay? Um, so, you know, you're going to get a lot of engagement that way. You're going to pick up a lot of new followers by using hashtags, okay? Hashtags are really, really important because you're going to be pulling in. So, for example, I may not be, you know, I might do something about exercise, well, I'm going to tag and use all kinds of hashtags to get some new followers who are maybe into health or exercise or this or that. And then they start following me. Guess what they're going to see 20% of the time? Product. Okay. They may potentially want to buy some Avon, you know, down the road or maybe want to join my team. So that's the way you got to think about it. And like I said, it gets content in front of the eyes of way more people than you otherwise would have, right? a lot more people than handing a brochure out to, you know, which is still important. But if you want to, you know, expand your brand and increase your online uh, sales, this might, this is the way to go. All right. Reels has really helped me. And, you know, I'm going to get the thoughts from these other two girls at the end once we're done with this, but it's really helped me get out of my comfort zone. All right. I learned how to use the tool. I was able to share, you know, all these products in a fun new way and attract new followers. This is for real, guys. I'm not making it up, um, you know, and I'm able to watch what other people are doing and how I myself can improve. OK, and, and it's allowing me to have fun because the more fun I'm having, the more I'm going to, you know, I, I and I'm getting more followers. Hello. Right. We it's going to make things more exciting in your business. OK, so. Um. How do I do a reel? These are just some tips for you. I'm going to determine what the product or topic is that I want to share. I mean, I literally, I will show you yesterday with my, I make notes. I have, you know, I just pull out a post it. Okay. What's my topic? Okay. It's going to be senses because that's what's on the cover, right? It's an easy place to start. Um, you know, what's on the cover of the brochure? What products are you passionate about? What topics? Maybe it's just a skincare tip. You don't have to use a product. It could be a skincare tip. Okay. Do research on that product, that topic, whether it's an Avon U on Avon.com, there's a lot of information in there you can pull from. Um, if it's out there following other people and seeing what they're doing, that's where you do your research. Then get on Instagram and watch some reels. Okay, I really want you guys to get in here, open up Instagram, go to reels and just watch. Okay, now I will tell you, and this is on the next one of the other pages is set a timer, you're gonna get sucked in. Okay, <laughs> and then it's gonna be, dark and you're gonna be like wait a minute I forgot to pick my kids up so <laughs> set a timer set time schedule it into your day all right so what I'm what I want you to do is well what caught your attention that's really what you should be doing if you like to do something funny like voiceovers those are pretty easy to do um maybe it's a song that corresponds with an emotion you want somebody to have or a fun filter that you want to do um so play with that stuff that's really how I plan to do, how I plan to do all of my reels. Like I literally in front of me have post-it notes for things. I'm not joking. Like that's how my thoughts come down on the paper and it makes me more organized. All right, so in here I put a step-by-step -step, um, and you know, I don't, we can kind of go through it, but if you want to on your phone, if you have it up, you don't have to, you could see here on the third slide, I didn't want my face in there because Sunday I didn't really do too much to my face and I was a little bit of a wreck. So, and I just wanted to get some screenshots done. So it's of my ceiling. But um, usually when you go in to create your reel, it's gonna have, you know, your, your face is gonna be there. You can flip that around and film and do different things as well. But it's really simple. You're gonna open up Instagram and hit that plus button at the top, click reels at the bottom, and then once you're in here, you're going to be able to select audio, okay? You're going to go in there, and I think I even have it right here. You can um, get audio various ways. You can search for it in that search field if there's a specific song you want or something. Um, the for you list, it's just in there. Maybe it's TikToks that you, or sorry, 
reels that you've seen and songs that you have maybe like um, saved or liked, they're going to throw those in there. They're very similar. And then also you can save ones that you like. And I put a tip on the other page. If you see a little um, arrow at the bottom of the page with the song, that means it's trending. I usually, if I like it, it I save that to my save list, list and I can go you know, right here to the saved and all my songs are in there, okay? Or you can import, you can import things if you want to. I've never tried that yet. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna admit it, haven't tried it, um, but I do maybe want to sometime, <laughs> okay? If you click on the play arrows, you can listen to the audio without even selecting it quite yet. So you can kind of listen and go down the list. So you're not, you know, if you don't like it, you could pick what you want. And then once you find what you want, just select the audio by clicking like the title over here. Okay. This screen's going to pop up. You can see it right there. And you can actually down here move and slide a different what you want, your, what, what do you want in your song? Which portion of the song do you want? Okay. And you can play around with it. Listen. Basics, pick the song, hit done and go with it, okay? You don't have to play around with anything. You can just hit done. And then what it's gonna do is bring you to this screen. And there's gonna be a, a variety of things that you can you know, select from. You can um, select the length, you know, how long do you want it? 15 seconds, 30, se uh, 30 seconds, a minute. Um, but it also depends on how long that song is too. So if you pick a 15 second song, then that's all you got, right? Um, and then you can determine the speed. So you can kind of, you've, I don't know if you've seen reels where people are speeding up and slowing down. You can actually adjust that in here. One X is normal speed, okay? You want to speed it up, two X, three X, four X, if you want it to go slow mode, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, all right? But like I said, you don't have to mess around with any of this. It's just there for you, all right? Um, you can also use a timer. So if you want to get in place, <laughs> you know, before it starts, you can do, and you could set that timer for yourself on the portion of the song that you wanna do, all right? That's there to help you as well. And then, um, let me see here, get back on here. If you want to select a filter, there's filters out there. So for example, let's just say you don't feel like putting makeup on for the day. Use a filter, <laughs> you know? That's what I mean. What's great about this is you don't have to always look your best. Like, you know, when we go live, there's no, there are actually some filters out there now, but they're more funny, like with mustaches and stuff on Zoom. So, <laughs> but that's really not gonna help me out. <laughs> but you can use um, these filters. There's tons of them out there go through and find them, play with them, see what's out there, have fun with it, okay, while you're in there playing around. And then usually if I like something, I will bookmark it. And that's what this little thing is over here. And it actually puts it into like your main um, kind of bar at the bottom so that if you're, you know, recording, there's one that you really, really like, all you want to use it all the time, it's right there. You don't have to search for it or bring it up. It's right there. All right. So once you um, do your recording or you upload a video, um, you can either delete it or edit it. So like, let's just say you take a take of it and it's not a good take, which happens. I will tell you that a lot. Um, you can actually, when you pull, click on it, you can either edit it or delete it. You can start all over again. Or um, once you edit it, um, this is what it'll kind of look like over here and you can trim it and play around with it. You could do whatever. And then once you're set, you just kind of hit that trim button and it's ready to go, all right? And then um, this is the spot where you can kind of add in some GIFs, writing, captions, filters, if you want more filters, <laughs> music, if you didn't put it in the first time and just kind of jazz up your reel. Um, you know, it's very basic. And like I said, I suggest highly you get in there and you play around with it. Play with the buttons, see what's going on. I uploaded just some random video I had in there so you can kind of see, you know, um, the screen. And then, um, so here, um, hold on one second, move it over. Once you add in all your extras, you can then edit how long, um, you know, you want things to show up on the screen. Um, if you want it to be shorter, longer in one part, not in one part, like I said, playing around with this is the key, all right? Um, so I have some instructions there. And then once you're done, this is it, you're done. 
you come to the screen where you're going to basically um, post, um, you know, write in your caption, use a lot, I say, use a lot of hashtags that are associated with your post, tag people, okay, and then you can add your location. And then once you have it ready to go, you can click share. Now, if you don't, you're not you know, kind of ready to go, you can click down here and save that as a draft and work on it later. All right. That's one thing I've been using a lot of if I don't have a lot of time on my hands and I just want to do some reels, I'll save them for later and I'll come back to it. Okay. And then finish it up. But that's really how the how to, um, you know, really quickly to go through these, just dedicate some time during your day to scroll through re reels. Like I said before, you know, I put in here while you're waiting at an appointment or a kid pickup, while you're in the bathroom. Okay, let's be honest. Um, while you're eating breakfast or lunch, sometimes the bathroom's the only escape you have during the day, you know, from everybody. <laughs> um, you know, when you, like I said before, when you see that arrow at the bottom of the reel, that means it's trending. All right, you want to save that, do something quickly with it. More people and views you get, the better, okay? Um, when you don't have a lot of time, do something quick and easy. Length doesn't matter. It's consistency that does. Um, and don't worry about looking your best. Like I said, filters. And also be real, be authentic. People like that. People like a hot mess sometimes, okay? I mean, I do. Like, it's, it makes me feel more comfortable and real. Um, take time, like I said, play with filters, listen to audio. And if you, like I said before, if you don't have time to, you know, if you only have time to film or upload a video, come back to it, save it as a draft. So girls, anything from you, like any tips you can add in? I just started using the reels more probably within the last month. And I'm obsessed and like Ann says, just like TikTok and everything, you do get sucked in, but you just look around, you see what's trending, what everybody's using. And that's what people are going to be looking for. So definitely save some um, audios and, and, just do it. Don't be scared. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, it's true. How about you, Linda? You know, I, I'm the same way. I just started doing reels here shortly and I absolutely love doing them. They're so fun. And I, you know, the other thing I've kind of, you know, I guess I didn't really know about here or really pay attention to was that 80, 20 rule. And so being able to apply that in my reels, um, reaching a lot, you know, more customer base than I probably or would have, but um, they're a lot of fun. I think it's just fun just to be yourself and be real in it. And I mean, I could do it all day. <laughs> be real with your reels. I like it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Okay. Any questions out there? Hopefully everybody's learning something. Um, like I said, we'll come back. If we don't, aren't able to answer the questions, we'll come back and, and definitely do that. All right. Next up, TikTok. <laughs> all right, Rebecca, you're up. Let's talk this app. Um, you know, we all got stuck during COVID at home and this thing went crazy. Everybody became content. I mean, it just blew up, right? People that you didn't even know. And now everybody's, you know, these are actors. These are real people that we're watching, not actors and actresses. These are real people that are sharing their stories. So I'm so excited to share this app. So what, tick, what is TikTok? It's the social media platform. It's going to, where you're going to be able to create, discover short videos. It's used as an outlet to express yourself through singing, dancing, being funny, being just making jokes, making an ass, excuse my language of yourself and having fun. Um, how does it help your business? It's going to bring your brand awareness, uh, a range of bigger, wide, uh, range of exposure, marketing. It's going to be great for recruiting. You can share your story learn about the latest trends and tap into younger audiences. We all know, like I have a teenage daughter and she's embarrassed that I'm on TikTok. And I know, and I think she said before her kids get embarrassed too. And I mean, why not? There's no age requirement in this. So don't be scared if you're older to do this app because you can totally do it. Hello, you, you watch this, watch once you get sucked in, you'll see people from all ages are on this app. I mean, you have women that are 80 and 90 year olds and men that are on this app and it's, it's so fun. So let's go to the next slide. How can TikTok help with your business? So it's going to provide content for all ages because you're going to have a wide range. So you're not just, you know, the demographics is going to be all over the place, all over the world, all over for ages and everything. Um, you're going to follow the latest trends to apply to your business. If your brand is new to TikTok, analytics take some of your guesswork out of the TikTok marketing strategy. And you could track that on your TikTok app. Um, using unique algorithm for different part and 
it's counter ugh, can't talk right have a un has a unique algorithm different from its counterparts. The app uses machine learning to show viewers a personalized feed known as a for you. It's different for every user. So I know a lot of you guys are experienced with TikTok and you, you know, when you're just on there, you're just seeing people that you don't even know that's gonna be on your for you page. And those people that's, you wanna be discovered on there. So you wanna create content that's gonna attract people. Um, how TikTok has helped me, it helped me get out of my comfort zone, I could tell you that, making a fool out of myself. You can easily create short videos. It presents my brand to the right people and provide tips for engagement and to increase the follower count with hashtags, which I love. And reels for, from Instagram that have been created can easily be uploaded. So think of a copy and paste. So this is what's really nice because you could do cross platforms, which I think is phenomenal and it saves time and energy and get it all done at one time and just post your content and be done. And so in TikTok, it's just still sim very similar to Reels. It's just a little bit setups different. I'll show you on the next slide. So how to record a TikTok. So you will get out your phone and you'll see the little plus, uh, open your TikTok app. You're gonna see the post button and then you're gonna click it. And then you could either upload videos, which you've already done and saved in your drafts or just any kind of videos you've done, or you could create your own. So on this one, I was gonna upload a video and this is what I, the video I uploaded. You could add stickers, sounds, captions. So it's very similar to the reels. And that's what I love. And you could create, just import sounds, save sounds to your favorites. You see what's trending, grab what, you know, um, the most views have on the, is that how it works pretty much? And too, when you look at who has the most on the video, the voiceovers and everything, S look what everybody else is doing and save it because everybody's looking for that same thing. And they're going to watch your videos to see how you did it. And that's what I do, at least in my, what I do for my knowledge and learning. Um, next slide, please. And then the next one, we're going to, once you start, this is going to be basically one sentence, just like seriously, like I did, like I said something in this video, like, why doesn't nobody like me seriously though, or something like that. And so I just look for whatever has the most hashtags to do with what I'm saying. Now look at that. I type in what is wrong. Now look at all those millions of hashtags that are in there. So I will be using those because that's going to have what's more, what that has more views and content. Um, so you're going to insert your one short, simple sentence, use the hashtag with the most views that gives you the higher chance of your TikTok to be viewed. And I use, um, I've done trainings on this, a hash me app, which is amazing. You have a, it's a free app or you could buy the premium, which is fun. You could just type in like makeup and it's going to give you 15 or 19, however many hashtags you want, you could put in there. That's going to um, help you to save all your, your, um, hashtags and everything you need. It's all right there. Type it in there, copy, and then everything's in there. You placed it in there. But like I said, you want to go into with TikTok, you want to go into who has the most um, hashtags or views. I mean, that's basically what I do. Um, I am obsessed with it. I can't get enough of it. I was very scared of it. Um, I still scared of it. I started doing some funny ones and just being an ass because I like having fun and I want to want to be serious and I just don't want to vomit Avon. I want to show my, my followers, you know, how fun it is doing this business or that I'm a fun person to be around. I want people to want to be around me. So that's what I'm going to attract them is by my humor or being silly or being myself. And that's where all this is. You got to think about with TikTok and all these reels, you want people that are, it's going to be relatable. So I know so many moms out there that are, kids get on their nerves. So I'm going to do a, a TikTok about something like that or their husbands or just life in general, something relatable with people to see what's trending and discover the button at the bottom of the screen. Take note of the hashtags and use them in all your videos. Always use um, a few hashtags if you can. And always dedicate time to play with the filters because the filters are hilarious. Some of them are like, what the heck? But it's just fun because you, this is what it's all about. Like I said, we were all shut down during the quarantine and people just came and now we're like huge, huge people in this in this TikTok um, field or world. And don't you want to be that? Don't you want to make people laugh? That's what I want to do. That's my goal in life is to inspire people, empower people and make people laugh. So don't be scared. I think you guys could all do this and just, just bite the bullet and do it. This is going to be a fun challenge we're going to have for you guys. So and don't worry about looking your best. You guys could look a hot mess. Like Ann says, you know, the filters are, the, are, are what makes it fun. So be real, have fun and let's do this. Thank you, Rebecca. And, you know, just really quick, just to add in too, 
something I've learned um, from this is the difference between TikTok and Instagram. Instagram's more like business driven, okay, for attracting. Like you could still, you still should have fun out there and be doing that kind of thing. But when you use TikTok, TikTok's very like, People want to go out there and like Rebecca said, they want to laugh. They want to see things that are crazy. It's like upbeat. It's funny. It's this or that. What you can do, you can still have fun and do the same things with your products, but you need to do a call to action and get people, you know, like at the end of your, or in maybe in the comments or at the end of your um, TikTok is, you know, Hey, follow me on Instagram. Cause the more followers you get out there, you know, cross, you're going to be pulling in a lot more different people. So, you know, do that call to action and make sure you have your Instagram um, name in your profile when you set up TikTok. Linda, do you have anything to share? Yeah, I do. You know, I started out with TikTok. Um, and so, you know, that's how I kind of just I did. I took the plunge. I just jumped in and said, you know what? It's it's a bad video. It's a bad video. It is what it is. Um, but you have to start somewhere. But what I I really, really like is the fact that I, I can create content one time. So I can con you know create something on a reel and download and save that video. And if I want to share it and upload it on TikTok, I can so easily do that. And then I'm you know, only doing that content one time, but I'm, I've got two separate platforms and two separate, you know, you know, groups of people that I may be able to reach out to. So I do like that feature that I only have to do the work one time and I can share it in both. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a definitely a, you know, that's what we're trying not to make. You don't want to make things more difficult for yourself. Okay. So, you know, that's what we have these tips and tricks. And if you have you know, um, any questions on how to do this, we're all here to help you. We, we all know how to use the tools. So, you know, if you're not sure how to download the video and then upload it again, all you got to do is ask and we're, we're here to help you. All right. Facebook and Instagram stories. All right. You probably have seen the little thing at the top of the screen. Okay. Right. Um, you know, and what this tool really is, is allows you to do it allows you to share kind of multiple pictures throughout the day it could be random things, but it's really telling a story. Okay, and these are all going to disappear within 24 hours so if there's a picture out there of something throughout the day you want to post but it doesn't really qualify as like a post you don't want it out there all you know, for the rest of time. Right? <laughs> um, put it in your story. Okay. And what this does is in your story, what you can do is you can actually, it's, you can put that, you know, like kind of call to action and say, hey, I have a new post, go go read it, go go see it. So these are kind of really fun and, and an easy way to get started within the social media. And I highly suggest that if you haven't done like reels or TikToks, this is a good place to start because it kind of gets you the, the feeling of how to use tool, the tool the tools are fairly similar. Like Rebecca showed you, you know, with TikTok, they're, the tools are fairly similar. It just might be in a different spot. But once you know how to use it, you know what I mean? You can pick it up very quickly. All right. Um, so Instagram and Facebook, they both have these stories. And what's great about it is, is that, you know, you can link them. And I do put that in. Um, uh, I put that in my tips and I show you how you can link so that you're only like Linda said, doing one thing and not duplicating. Because if you post it in Instagram, you can actually set it up to post on Facebook, okay? But, you know, why use stories? It's just like we've been talking about. You want to share your brand, who you are, what you're doing throughout the day. Make yourself relatable. Do a morning to night. Hey, I'm working out now. Now I'm dropping my kid off at school. Now I'm you know, meeting a um, team member for lunch. Um, this is what I'm making for dinner. Do you see what, it, create the story, okay? Show people who you are and what's going on throughout your day. You can do that. Now with your business, you can do, you can interact and you can boost your engagement by using like call to actions or you can do coming soon or, you know, whatever it is, um, polls, contests, things like that to get people active, all right? And it's, like I said, quick and easy way to attract new people. Um, stories have helped me by just allowing people, you know, allowing to share what's happening, you know, right now in my life, <laughs> you know, um, you know, allows people to see what I'm doing day to day. Um, it cuts time, you know, like I said before, by, you know, 
posting different things in different apps too, because maybe I do want to do save it. Maybe I do want to share a photo. I might not want to have to post it in Instagram and Facebook or a video here and there. I could just pop it in my stories and it's going to feed through. Okay. So it's going to help save time. Now, um, how I create a story, I do put, I did put the instructions here. Now I do have a video um, on, you know, going through kind of the app. And like I said, um, it, it's fairly sim simple. Um, let me see if I can get this up. I might have to um, go out here. Let me see if I can do this, guys. <laughs> here it is. All right, I'm gonna talk through this. So you're gonna open up Instagram and you're gonna click on this, you know, plus button. That's important. That's where you're gonna get everything. So you hit the plus button and it comes down here. You're going to see all this stuff down here. You hit stories and this is what pops up. You can come in and you can select photos, videos, whatever. So I'm promoting the new fashion line here. And you probably saw my story yesterday. This is where I got it from. But you can come in and you can adjust the photo size, you can move it around, you can do all kinds of things, however you want to display that photo. It could be the whole thing. It could be even something, um, you know, a little bit smaller. Then you can add text. Okay, what do you wanna say? And you can play around with all these different text options down here. And this is the same thing that you can do in TikTok and in Reels, all right? All the same, very similar looking, okay? So once I struggle through typing this, <laughs> Um, you can come up here and even play around with color and you can add backgrounds and you can do all kinds of fun things to make it attractive. Here's the key and the tip, make it attractive. Um, you know, how do you want to display this? You can see I'm kind of going through and showing you different ways to actually, you know, play around with the font. Um, so once I get through this and then what you can do once you're done is position it. Where do you want to put it? I'm gonna give you a tip on this. Be careful where you put stories. You can put it anywhere because you will see it. TikTok and Reels, you should probably more position it to the middle or not on the edges, like the very top or the bottom. You're not gonna see the, the wording because you're gonna have all that other stuff in there. So just as a tip, um, here I tagged Avon Insider. Um, I changed, I guess I'm changing this. <laughs> can't remember what I did yesterday, <laughs> but um, but you can see I'm playing around, figuring out where I want to put this. What else do I want to put in? How am I going to get people's attention? And um, coming down here, what are we doing next here? Um, so here, I just, that's kind of the, the main area. Look, I'm going to add in, you know, where I'm at. Just put the location in. Um, you're te te technically tagging where you're at. So that's another way to kind of um, attract new followers. Um, I'm typing in, you know, what is, what is this thing that I'm wearing? Let me see if I can skip ahead here a little bit. Um, so I position that and change the color. You can do all of that stuff. And then you can see here, I'm just gonna pause this. This is the screen of things that you can choose from. So go in here and play around guys. Um, Ask a question if you wanna ask a question, all right? And in here, I think I said, who's ready for spring? This is my engagement. I'm engaging with my um, audience, all right? Um, put that down there. And then um, what I'm doing, you can see here again, see, I'm adding some gifts. Maybe I wanna add some gifts in, you just search in there. You can add in whatever it is that you want, all right? And then you just simply hit share. That's it, done. Done. There's my post. Okay. So let me get back over to um, my screen here and my presentation. I'm going to try to get out of here. <laughs> All right. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys to see how I actually, you know, did that. So let me get back into um, slideshow presentation, which I cannot find right now. Give me one second. There it is, hidden. All right. So that's kind of how you do it. Um, I will have all that stuff available for you guys to see, but you could see what else I did here. My story yesterday, I used a poll. 
I, you know, then put in all the different things like a teaser, you know, um, and then what I did at the end was I did, hey, you want to see more? Make sure you follow me on Instagram so people are coming to see me. So I'm using this as, you know, if maybe they've not not been following me, you know, on Facebook, now they'll follow me on Instagram. Okay. So my tips, here's how you connect your Instagram account to your Facebook account. I give you those instructions. Make sure you do that. Um, it'll automatically feed over so you're not doing it twice. Have fun and share a story with people. What's going on throughout your day? Create that story. Always add, I always add a location. If, you know, if, if you choose, if you're at home and you, you don't want to give out your home location, that's fine too. <laughs> but if you are somewhere, it's a good way to, you know, like I said, get more followers. Hashtag, use the hashtags and at mention, tag people in your stories. The more people you tag, the more people are going to see that. Okay. And then, um, Add your reels and TikToks to your story too. You can do that. And then make sure you are also sharing who you are and what you love to do other than your business, okay? So any tips on that, girls, before we move into Canva? I just seem everybody are really liking this. So they're glad okay. they're seeing it. And they know how to tag. So it's really good that you explain. Awesome. All right. Well, we'll just get into Canva just based on time. Um, so Linda, take it away. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and talk Canva. And I love Canva. It's, um, it was the very first, you know, advertisement kind of thing that I ever got to experience. So um, I just really got in there and just started playing around with um, Canva. And so um, let's first, let's start even talking about what Canva is, all right? We've all probably seen those fancy ads that you see out there and you're like, oh, wow, it'd be so cool if I could create something like that to put out on my Facebook page, but you may not really know how to do it. And maybe you started with like PowerPoint or something like that. I know that's what I did. And it seemed like it took hours and an eternity to try and, you know, create these amazing ads that just still didn't look like super professional, I guess, for me and the image that and the brand that I wanted to present. So what is it? Um, basically, it's a website that has tons and tons, like thousands of custom templates that are already made out there. You can just type in and search for something and it pops up in a good example, you can drag and drop. And it has all these amazing images that you can pull into your um, advertisement as well. So it is free. You actually can purchase like a professional version for a each month, but by all means, it's not a necessary thing to be able to, um, you know, you don't have to buy that pro version to be able to create amazing images for your business. So don't think, you know what, I can't put something out there that's super awesome um, without having to pay for it. That's a, that's a no-go. You don't even have to think that. Um, there is an app for the Canva. Now, what I have found is for myself, the app is great for on the go. So say you're riding in the car for an hour or two, you know, and you're just riding and riding and you're like, oh my gosh, I need something to do. You can actually go ahead and work your business while you're riding, create a Canva app um, through the app itself. And, um, you know, you can easily post it. Or if you know something just popped up and you're like, oh wow, this is a flash sale and you wanna create a, a flyer, you can do that so easy on the go, create it from your phone and post it onto your pages. Um, but what I have found, I guess for my preference is actually using it on like my desktop or my laptop and be able to go to the website. It seems like it's a lot more user-friendly for me because I can um, navigate the screens a lot easier and you know you can move things a little bit easier. You're not using your finger or a little, um, little, you know, pen for your phone. Um, but really the sky's the limit with Canva. I mean, it is unbelievable the things that you can create based on something that you have in your own mind from scratch or even a template that somebody else posted, All right? So what I did for this um, is I went ahead and I actually just kind of did a quick um, video tutorial of how to use Canva. I know I've had people actually reach out to me and ask me, hey, how do you create this? Or can you help me with that? Um, because really sometimes if, if you don't um, just get in there and just start moving things around and be willing to make a mistake or whatever, um, 
you don't really know. And so you may not be able to find a tutorial. So what I did was I just did a quick video for this. So Anna, if you could go ahead and play that. Okay, I'm not sure. okay, it looks like it is playing. Okay, so in this um, tutorial, basically what I was doing was I was trying to show everybody what like the desktop feature of this, um, the Canva is like. And so um, it shows all the different types of templates you can do or create. Um, you can do, you know, all kinds of them. Um, but what I did for this tutorial is I went ahead and selected the Facebook post. Since most of us post our things on Facebook, it only made sense to kind of show that um, in the tutorial. But this one is starting out, it shows you it's a blank screen and how you can go ahead and, um, you know, choose the different templates that you're, you're wanting to um, pop down in there. It's all drag and drop. It's so easy. You just go ahead and search different items. You select you know, what image may be appealing to you or may be useful for whatever it is that you're trying to create. And then you click on it and it automatically pops up into the, um, the screen there. So for this one, I was showing, um, you know, hey, look, we're gonna do, maybe you do a raffle or something for your business and you wanna do a giveaway. Um, you know, you can use that template or maybe you want to um, just have that image of the lipstick and you don't really care about the words giveaway, you can just get rid of the giveaway and you can use that image. So I don't know if you could fast forward it just a little bit, Anne. And you can see there on the bottom, I was adjusting, I had, you know, entered in my, um, my e-store. So, you know, you can go ahead and, and edit you know, these items and, and customize it to your needs. Okay, so, so here I wanted to go ahead and add some other, um, another image. And so what I did was I was like, you know what, I wanna go and add in an image. I searched for that image and I said, oh, you know what? I want another lipstick. And then I saw the lips and I was like, oh my gosh, the heck with the lips. I think lips would be even, you know, better. So it may, you may find something that is more exciting by searching one thing and something else pops up. It's totally applicable to whatever flyer you're doing. Um, and so you can see what I did was I just clicked on it. It popped up into the image itself. And then I can drag it around and um, make it smaller or larger, or, you know, move it around however you want. And then I believe here on this um, next part, I was trying to, if you could fast forward it, um, I was trying to show how you can insert a, a different type of text. So what I chose to do was get rid of the other words that I had and I drug and dropped another, you know, image um, their, you know, wording, and then I just changed it and I show how I, I can move it around, make it larger. You can even change the color. So I think that one originally was a yellow color. I got rid of the yellow. I changed it to bright, like neon pink. Um, so that's what that is showing. And if you could fast forward it again, just a little bit. Okay. And then, okay, so say your image is done and you want to save it, you'll see there on the, um, the top of the screen next to the publish to Facebook, there's that little, um, like a little arrow going down and that's where you can save your item. And that's what I was doing, showing. Again, all this video will be available so that you can pause it and hear it um, when we post it to the team page. Um, but this basically gives a snapshot of how to actually create it. Here I'm showing actually how to, how to save it. And so um, it's a really simple process. You can literally create a Canva ad, uh, depending on how, you know, I guess crazy or wild or, you know, how much content you wanna put in there, but you can create one in five minutes, really, once you um, get accustomed to using that um, website or the app. So 
I don't think there's much more on that one. You can, like I said, you can always go back through the slides and see this later and be able to download them and play that video. Okay, so here are a couple of examples that I have actually created. Um, so, you know, we're always trying to do different things and depending on what kind of branding, I guess, that you're trying to have for your business is going to, you know, really um, kind of drive what it is that you're trying to, what kind of ad you're trying to promote your Avon business. So one example I did was my fundraiser example. I I, um, I love being able to do fundraisers for the homeless. And so um, last year I had started my homeless distribution and I went ahead and did a fundraiser for this. It was so easy. I actually used one of the templates that was available on uh, Canva and I just changed a couple of words, added a couple of text, a couple of images, and then um, I was able to create this, this ad um, that looks like it's a professional ad that probably took me less than 10 minutes to, to actually create. The next one is a newsletter. That's an example of the newsletter that I do. I, I put out a campaign news newsletter, every campaign for all of my customers, and I email it to them. Um, the only way to get it is through email, but I am able to create a newsletter in less than 30 minutes and I save it and I can go back and re-edit every single campaign. So I'm not starting starting from scratch. I'm just kind of maybe moving things around to make it more exciting, um, adding the new, like, hey, what's new? I can give updates on maybe, you know, what I'm trying to do. Maybe I'm doing a fundraiser or maybe I'm hosting parties or trying to get, um, you know, let them know where I'm at as far as earning Cancun or, you know, how many days left do I have until we get to go to Hawaii, whatever it is. I let them have a little bit of my life and me through my newsletter. And then the last thing is maybe you want to just create a product ad, um, you know, to go ahead and get out there. And we all know uh, the buggy season is coming up. And so what better way than to create an ad that's appealing to the the folks that you are, um, your clients that you serve. So for like me, I live out in the middle of nowhere, farm country. Uh, a lot of my customers actually love Bug Guard for their um, their animals that they show, the livestock. So, you know, why not online? I went ahead and put a cowboy out there with a horse, you know, rounded up cattle. Um, you know, our products for Avon don't just apply to grandma. Um, there's a lot of men who use them, maybe ranchers. So um, like I said, the sky's the limit with Canva. You can get super creative with that. If you could go to the next slide. All right, so why use Canva? First, um, it makes branding your images as easy as a drag and drop. And you'll see that if you didn't already in that video, um, when you go back, you can watch it closer and literally see, you just drag and drop the images in there. And, you know, like I said before, what used to be so time consuming with like PowerPoint and trying to figure out how you were going to do it, you don't have to worry about doing that because everything is created for you. Um, it's a lot easier. It's a lot more user friendly. And then um, again, it has a free use online graphics. So like I said before, you don't have to pay for that pro version to have an amazing product to get out there to your clients. And then um, branding your images, flyers can look sleek and non-invasive to the, the viewer. Everything just looks uh, more professional um, to everybody. And it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt your eyes, I guess, when you look at it. All right, so how has Canva helped me? One, it has saved me so much time um, where I used to spend hours and hours and hours trying to figure out this PowerPoint slide to, figure out how to save and, you know, chop it down and everything. I don't have to do that. It saved me money because I'm not having to pay someone to go out there and create a, a cool advertisement. Um, and then I can do it the way I want, um, you know, as easily as I want. And then the other thing was Canva has helped me design everything from posts, flyers and stories to banners, logos, newsletters, you name it. Um, I probably am in Canva every single day uh, creating something and it's just a, a lot of fun to be able to do it and going, you know, back to like the, the stories, you know, Ann just talked about that. It's so easy to create a Canva ad and just pop it, drag it down into a story and there you go. Maybe it's a, a what's new item or whatever. So it's a really easy um, tool to use. Okay. Thank you. All right.
Thank you. All right. So just and just to jump on, you know, what Linda had talked about too is like you, what I love about Canva is the fact that you can make it flashy, make it flashy, call like you want the, you know, if you're scrolling through, you want to make it like eye candy, right? <laughs> and this tool really helps you do that. Um, quite honestly, it makes things so much easier. And there's so many templates out there. So I suggest you get out and play around with it. It's, you know, that's the only way that you're going to be able to learn. So in summary, <laughs> Rebecca, you're up on this one. So take it away. <laughs> okay. So like this whole training and everything we're doing, it's all about creating engaging, relatable content on social media platforms. I did a list of seven steps to follow for every post. And as you can see, step one is to find a post of purpose. Like, and it, this is going to go across all platforms. Step two, find an engaging headline quote to share. Step three is use your brand voice. Step four, use special characters and emojis. Step five, include visuals. Everybody loves visuals. Step six, use relevant hashtags, which is huge. And step seven, engage, mention, and track. That's going to be your seven key tips for all platforms across, across the board. And now let's talk relatable content. Have fun, reenact funny memes on platforms. It's crazy to think that, yes, other people think the same way you do. More relatable, the more more likes and views are going to get. So basically, if you really look at it, bottom bottle uh, boils down to people are just saying like these memes, like don't hate, don't you hate it when you try to make a protein shake, but actually make a margarita. And you could create that into a video. You know, this is just way that people, oh God, I really, I could agree with her. Yeah, I'm going to like that post. So just make it relatable. Everything you do needs to be relatable. Um, that's the main thing about this. And I don't think, you know, you have to make it relatable. If you want people to like you, follow you, you have to make them want to be, be around you just like in, in person and on, on the social media platforms. Do you want to make them fun and have, have something that they're going to want more of? You want them to come back to you, give them some content that's going to make them want to come back to you. Like you could see us three here doing, um, I know Linda was doing a funny video. I'm doing a funny video. And what is, and what were you doing in this video? Do you remember? This was a funny um, one, too, I think, too. Yeah, I think it was something funny, but I just don't remember it. I think I was start starting to uh, stop drinking on, like, basic yeah. days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was it. That was it. <laughs> it was just, it just makes it fun. You want people to be attracted to you. You know, this is all goes in, in key with attraction marketing. You want drag, grab them and lure them, lure them in and then draw them into you and make them want to follow you and be part of your brand, be part of your network and be part of your crew. Because remember, you're just going to plant the seed. You know, they're going to come. It's not going to be overnight, but they will come and they're going to be like, oh my God, I'm, it's so funny. I can relate, totally relate with that mom that's going through the same thing I am or the same uh, wife that's going through the same issues with their husband, them driving her nuts because he's snoring. Just make fun videos and fun content people are going to want. So in closing, I just want to say something really fast. We lose more playing it safe than we do sleeping or stepping out of our comfort zone and taking risks. So Get out of your own way and step out of your comfort zone and do this, you guys. And we have some exciting news to share with you next. Oh, this one, me too, right? Okay. I think this is Linda. Linda's up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here is the exciting news that Becca just alluded to here a second ago. So we had the Plan, Shine, and Build Incentive Challenge for everyone in Team Hello Beautiful. And we're really excited about this. And so we hope, um, you know, you will be too. We're, we're really looking forward to seeing what um, comes of this. So what we have is you can earn an entry into the Plan, Shine, and Build Incentive for a selfie ring light there with the cell phone holder, as you can see down there on the right-hand corner of the screen. So what you have to do to earn this entry is you need to post two stories, reels, or TikToks, and it can be any combination of the platform. So um, you, know, you pick which one you wanna try, learn, or you know, use, and you're gonna post two of those. The other thing is one platform must include an Avon product. Now you get to pick that product of your choice. So if you want to use Bug Guard or you want to use Skin So Soft or a skincare or jewelry or whatever, it doesn't matter. You choose what you're comfortable with, what you know about, and you um, have, you know, include that one Avon product. The second post must have an engagement post. And now some of y'all may be saying, what in the world is an engagement post? 
We broke it down there for you just a little bit. So an example of that would be including a post that would, you know, have an asking your question to an audience. Um, maybe include a poll, yes or no, or winter or summer or whatever it is, like Ann showed in that one video. Um, or maybe give your audience a call to action to engage in your content. So one post, the Avon paddock, the second post has to have, it needs to be an engagement post. We would like for you to share on the team hello beautiful page using the hashtag get social down there so that we can make sure that you get credit for the work that you're doing. Of course, we want you to share it out there um, with your own customers and on your own pages and your own groups because it's important to do that. Let them see the, the amazing work that you're you know, pouring into your business, uh, but to be able to get credit for this incentive, make sure you post it on the Team Hello Beautiful page and use that hashtag get social. Um, of course, no past due balances and can you be on your account and you need to turn us in before or by March 14th, all right, so that you can get credit. But we're super excited about it, really excited about seeing what everybody is gonna come up with. I love watching all y'all's videos. I'm sure Ann and Becca like to do that as well. Um, so let's get out there and create some cool stuff, all right, and let's get out, step outside that that comfort zone. Jump in. If you need someone to push it, let me know. I'll, I'll push it down into that social tunnel there, um, but just do it. Yeah, so hopefully everybody enjoyed this training. So I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in. Sorry, it's a little bit lengthy, but it's, there was a lot to get through and hopefully you feel a little bit more comfortable afterwards, you know, going through this that you can just, like we said, jump right on, right in. Okay. Um, that's the only way that you're going to grow. If you want to grow your business this year and you have big goals and you want to get to Cancun or you want to reach a new sales level, or maybe one of your goals is just to get uncomfortable. This is um, the way to do it. So um, we all look forward to, um, you know, seeing your posts. So make sure you put them in there. Use that hashtag, get social so we can look at them. And it's going to be so much fun to see everybody's videos and posts and everything else coming through. I'm really excited to see that. So that's it. And we will post the challenge out there. So we will be posting that um, definitely by, you know, tomorrow as we start campaign. What are we? Seven. So don't forget seven orders are due by tonight. Okay. Uh, 1159 Eastern Standard and 859 Pacific time. So make sure you get your orders in and then we will be starting a new campaign and that means a new social campaign for you too. So, um, all right, we will, if you have any questions, like I said, reach out to us. We will go through all of the comments and try to get back to you um, as soon as we can. All right, thank you ladies for helping. What a great job you guys did. And we will talk to you guys soon.